Corey Davis again. He's uh, here with this big old seven. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> we're, we're here with uh, with Corey Davis. Uh, you can find him on Instagram and his website. Uh, what's your website and Instagram? It's Corey Davis Photography, and my Instagram is at Lighthunter L G H T H N T R. Yes, definitely go check it out. Um, he's an amazing photographer. He's done photos up on Pike's Peak with cars and photographed Von Miller um, and his car collection too. So, yeah, let's talk about this uh, the zoom lens. Yeah, what you got there? Yeah, so this is one of my bread and butter lenses. This is the Nikon 7200 BR2. Um, I pretty much always have this lens in my bag, uh, especially if I'm doing automotive stuff or any type of event photography. Um, it's pretty versatile and once you kind of get used to working within that focal range um, this particular model I, I actually put the really right stuff uh, tripod mount yeah, on it so nice. that looks solid. clips directly onto my tripod um, yeah it's it's an awesome lens so uh, what would you say you use that lens for most out of anything um, like event car stuff event car stuff I, I, I've done a few vehicle features with it uh, it's really good for kind of isolating details on the car yeah right right um, or if something's just really far away yep exactly fantastic I think that uh, what I like about that lens the most over some of the other lenses that are 7200s is the sleek blackness of it <laughs> I mean Canon makes white ones and I don't know why I guess to stand out it's, uh, it's heat retention I guess does it, but is that ever a problem? I've never I've, run into that. I've never lenses. run into that really yeah. with this. Are you, you just never, around like, thinking you never this pick your, your camera or your no, lens out of the car really. and like burn your hand? <laughs> <Just> like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd much rather have a black lens, but you know, that, that's <laughs> yeah. splitting hairs really. It yeah. really comes down to the image quality, and, and that one has uh, image stabilization it or vi vibration reduction. Um, vibration reduction. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's got um, it's got normal and active. So normal is if you're just kind of walking around. Active is if you're like in a vehicle or something that's kind oh, of really? moving it. So like it for that. knows you're shaking up and down. Yep. Interesting. That's very helpful. Yeah, this thing's I mean, it's autofocus is lightning fast. It's it's really a it's, it's a weather lens. sealed? It is. Yeah. yeah. So you've been out in the weather I bet with that a few times. I have, yeah. It still shoots and works. Yep. Knock been on in wood. a few uh, Colorado blizzards shooting cars, I bet. Yes. And so this particular lens I actually had a circular polarizer on it and I had a camera strap malfunction. And my camera <clears throat> and lens just fell and hit the ground, and it ended up pinching. It shattered the polarizer, but it saved the, the front of the lens. Um, I yeah. lucked out. <laughs> I noticed yeah. that you have a filter on there, so like the, yeah. you live by those now. Yeah, I started throwing them on there. It's just like, I don't know. Yes. I don't always have hoods, so a little, little filter kind of keeps a bump. Yeah. yeah, I like that that so, yeah. uh, camera manufacturers make these seventy to two hundred. It's pretty sturdy. Like I had this, um, like, like a, a white Canon one, and it was like up on top of my closet, right? And uh, I opened up my oh, closet, no. pulled out a coat, and then all of a sudden, the, the <laughs> <laughs> it went all the way uh, down and hit my carpet. It was like a, like a oh, nine man. foot drop, and uh, I just that's the worst. Up. You're not even had really a, using a it. Dent in it, like you were saying, yeah. and uh, I was like good to go, and like it never <laughs> broke. So, but yeah, I mean, this is a, like a lens you want to like throw throw around, and yeah, like you don't want to be too gentle with it so it's, it's nice durable. that you know you've dropped it and it's it's sturdy and yeah um as far as like <clears throat> like like this lens in, in general like i know nothing about zoom lenses mm -hmm. really i know nothing about nikon lenses but um how's like like if i'm just like kind of looking at it i guess i'd look at like sharpness how's the sharpness and how does it mm -hmm. resolve on uh, 36 megapixels yeah it's it's great um most of the images that i get if, even at 2.8 they're tack sharp um does it hunt much, or is the focus snappy? It's it's very snappy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, focus probably great at two hundred. Like mm -hmm. all seventy two hundreds I've shot before. Um, if you go all the way to two hundred and get yep. that compression, it's probably real creamy and, and nice. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I love the bokeh rendition on this, and it's it's a great lens. I, th I think the main thing that you have to get used to is the weight of it. Um, yep. It's like carrying a coffee, like a it's like a tall boy. But yeah, it's it's a great lens. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. So if you had a choice between that or a bunch of primes, you'd use that in a lot of instances. So I mean, I do have an eighty five one four. Um, I got this one this lens first, yeah. so it's kind of been my my workhorse. But I, I have been kind of gravitating more towards the eighty five, and then just moving my feet more. But that's not always going to be the case. So. Um, Especially with car photography. Yeah, depending on yeah. what I'm shooting, I'll either use this or if I'm, if it's like a static feature, I might grab the 85, which kind of depends on the scenario. Yeah. 
<clears throat> cool, man. So, uh, yeah, is, does they make any other 7200s, or is that the only one? Do they make, like, an F4, Nikon make an F4? I think they do have one, actually, but... It'd be significantly less expensive, but yeah. you find you, you shoot it at 2.8, basically. Yeah, I mean, time. with pretty much all my lenses, I usually shoot wide open. I mean, yeah, a lot it's of what, times. Yeah, that's what I'm paying for, but... Yeah. I'm also... I usually use the 200 range on this, 135 to 200 range, if I'm using this. Um, just kind of isolate subjects more. But, yeah. Yeah, you get a ton of both at those long distances. Cool, man. Yep. Uh, go check out Corey. He has a great website and great Instagram feed. I uh, like to follow along and look at all Thank your you. photos. So, yeah, go check <laughs> him out. Yeah.